is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Red Adventures Hawaii. Today with me, I got Wan Eye Wendell. Oh, can't see him. Oh, bye, bye. Bye. Go get him. And we got Kayak Kevin. The Wan Eye Harbor, it's early. We're talking about 5 oh, 5 20 in the morning. Yes, sir. So we're going to head out. The eye just started to show up. It did good two days ago. I don't know about today, we're gonna find out, we're gonna chase that dream. Is it make something happen? We got our moose to be. And we're gonna see if we can get lucky. The UN Harbor, the harbor is crowded today. Lots and lots of boats. Well, you know what? Let's get it going, boys. We're gonna push water. There's glass, we're gonna push water. Oh, it's beautiful today. I know it's gonna pick up later, but for now, it's time to get out there. All right, here we go, boys and girls. We'll see you setting lines. Why not Wendell? Even wore his hat today. Water's nice. I think a little bit too nice. Flat water is never a good thing. Patrolling anyway. It's a little on the flat side today. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. Alright, so funny me now, we're outside the 1000 fathom ledge, we're at about eh, 1400 fathoms of water right now. Fathom is 6 feet, so you do the math. We're deep. Uh, it's about 10 miles or 11 miles out. But last year, kind of want to play the areas where the eye came up last year, you know what I mean? Early this year, I only came up in this area, so drop lines this area and kind of head out from here. It's a good spot to start. So, we got the boys that are laughing out the lures. I'm gonna show you some colors. I researched some goodies. Get our lines out. Now the most important part of the day is on routine. Spam musubi time. Always a good luck. Always brings a good luck. You gotta feed the sea guy, you know the rule. You wanna get something, you gotta give something. Watch the slow mo. Yeah, you. Alright, here we go. Let's go find ourselves a dozer today, boys. A sunrise is coming up. Oh. That's a beautiful sunrise. That was a big one. Told you, he is swordfish in Hawaii. Nobody ever believes. That was a big one. That was a real big one. That was a big boy. That was over 300 probably. That was a big one. I had a feeling we'd see a swordfish today too. I was like, oh, why are so flat? That was cool. That was a big swordfish on a surface. People don't fish for swordfish in Hawaii, but we got swordfish. Always come summertime, you always see them coming around. That was a big one, real big one. Kind of a flat, flat, flat day. I don't like fishing on flat days. But well, then I was wrong. It was supposed to be kind of an ugly day today. I was supposed to get like flat in the afternoon. It's been flat all day. Oh, I'll switch it out. I'm gonna put a five inch over here. Saw a small my my earlier swim by, but just swam by. We saw the swordfish too. If only I could afford a hooker electric reel, I would try some sword fishing. I would definitely like to try some sword fishing away, but the setup is too expensive. Just to set up, try catch those guys daytime, you're looking at, at over two thousand dollars, easily over two thousand dollars. That's way more than my mom will let me spend. Put a five inch bullet out. 
All right, I think I out. Got a rubber band down to the corner, like so. And now we're good to go. Flat though, it's flat. The most comfortable spot on the whole boat, right here. The beanbag chair. I can watch the lures. I can sit back. Oh man, I'm gonna fall asleep again. I know it already. We have literally everybody should buy a beanbag chair for West Rain. The best investment you could ever make. All day. Coming up, I'm gonna show you guys. What bird on top? Ah, it's a board. A board, bruh. What kind of board? Yeah, grab it. Yeah, it's open. It's a board. Grab it, Wendell. Run him over, Wendell. Grab it, Wendell. Run him over. Get it, Wendell. Jump up and swim it to me. <laughs> what do you mean? You better have something on the road. It's silver on the road. Surfboard. Look we'll back around, we're gonna get it. Whoa, get the bird. <laughs> you have the beautiful water of Wainai to come around the point for a little more bumpy water. I'm sure on video it looks beautiful. That's not always, it looks hard to see me. It's not that bad, but this is where the fish is, hopefully. We have to go back and buy a window and surfboard. You maybe chase the bird fall, we lost the surfboard. Oh, my spleen. It was your uterus. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, one time! When the one who was that? Oh, the cup. Huh? Cup. Oh, the ice blue school. The ice blue on the cop, the one that was long, yeah? No. Oh. Okay, okay. Everybody on Yellow Guy, you know. I thought it was a Mari, but it's going down. Yeah, going down too. You can't be on that ball. I'm gonna go neutral, huh? Once he stops to get line, you gotta bring line back. What is it, an eye or what? Get everything cleared out. We got time. I'm going neutral. Huh? Kevin, you got it. I'm going to go neutral, okay? I'm going to go down sea window. The line going down. I might do an eye. I, I know. Kevin, I'm going neutral. Huh? So you got to start taking line, okay? I'm going... Neutral, huh? If the line starts coming slack, you gotta tell me so I can get on the gear, okay? That's what I think going down. It's not a Marlin. Take our time, money rush. Take our time. Be so good. Take our time. You wait all day for this bite. We're not gonna rush them now. You got him? Kevin, get on it. Try let me fight for a little while. Yeah. How much time we get out? Plain line left. Yeah. Let me know when you see the rubber band coming, huh? If he's yeah. still on there. No, no rubber band. Came off. No. Oh, down the radar. Uh, Which hand was that? Uh, strawberry scoop. Yeah, strawberry scoop. Blue outside, pink inside. Bank stick is loaded. I know we touched the bank stick. I'll bang them. Most important part right here. This is the bottom of this right here. Kevin, the gas is behind you. So if we bang on your gaff, okay? I'm gonna test four now. Hold on. Yeah. Drag. When he comes close, back him up. Take, take him all the way up to the tip, kid, right there. Yep. 
Me gaff. Yeah. Don't bring him on the side yet. Let's bleed him first. Leave him in the water. Leave him in the water. Let me get the knife. Let's watch for sharks, huh? Take the pump. Ready. Back off a little bit. Yeah. Back off on the drag, Kevin. No, no, no. Back off. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Oh, that's a knife. You know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, that's about 140 pound eye. <laughs> that's about 140 pound there. <laughs> yeah, boys. Whew, first eye of the year. Kill that monkey. You gotta kill that monkey. <laughs> on, the hardest one right here. <gasps> Where's that lure? Let's see that lure. My full foot, make sure your kids don't sleep at night. <laughs> No, leave him, leave him on the side, Ray. If he's on the side, leave him on the side. <sighs> hey, strawberry school, baby, red eye. Morris Lures. All yes, sir. Out there, <laughs> Dry them all. First eye of the year. Gotta love it. 2020, baby. Thank you, baby. Ooh, we're gonna enjoy you. <laughs> yes, sir. Good buddy. I'll show you guys how to bleed them the right Well, not the right way, but how I know how to bleed them. Start from the gut, work your way up. Now get all the guts and all the gills out. It's a male. You rather have the males, males than the females. See the balls? The females burn easier, that's why. Male penis. <laughs> this is the hardest part is getting the gills out probably. One side of the fish is already on the deck, so we want to put the other side down. We're going to keep only one side on the deck. Oh, Kevin, I'll wait the lens. Try to wait the lens real fast. You can wait on your shirt or something. So the main goal is to get all the gills and guts out of the fish. And then from there, wash it off, and you can ice it properly. So now the gills out, now I just got the rest of the guts, let's not be guaranteed else. That's all of it right there. Should be cleaner, eh? That's hard. Hey, this is your first eye, yeah? Is this your first eye? Huh? Is your first eye? That. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Give me my camera. It's Kevin's first eye, so the rules is your first eye, you gotta eat that hard. You gotta take a bite, Still yet. Pump in. First eye, boy, you gotta do it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna rinse off. Wendell, rinse them off. Rinse it off, and after that, we, the trick is you'll bring a lot of ice. When you catch your eye, you want to bring a lot of ice. You want a little bit of ice, you want a lot of ice, okay? The best rule of thumb is for every pound of fish you want to ice, you need at least one pound of ice. We had about 300 pounds of ice today, we had about 130 pounds, 120 pounds of ice, so we should have more than enough ice. Watch out with a slime. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a fish box, bust some bags, bust a couple ice bags, and we're going to add some water, and we're going to make a nice little brine. Get this guy nice and cold so the meat stays beautiful. It's early in the season, they ain't breeding yet, so you'll get some nice quality fish, hopefully. The trick is, you want to get the blood out of the fish fast. We bang it with a 44, so that really gets the blood out really fast, which is important. One though here, cut cut those one though. Where's the knife cut? Just cut those two bags, one though. 
That's the bustle though. So we're busting about three bags of ice in here. We got some salt water. Finally get it nice and cold. Oh, beautiful. That's good. Nice and cold. Perfect. I tell, tell first, tell first. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is bust the rest of the bags of ice. What you wanna do is you wanna fill up the fish with ice inside the belly, inside the gill plate. You wanna get the fish nice and cold. So we got 300 pounds of ice. Half the fish is in the ice on top. It should cool it down. Like I said, it's a melt, which is easy, less easier to burn. The females really burn easy. Halfway in, we got, we're going there, it's late. It's 4 30 in the afternoon. On the way in, we'll flip them halfway over, check them cool, but it should be fine. This guy should be a popsicle come tomorrow. And we'll make another video on how to um, how to clean the eye. Alright everybody. It's good to get lucky sometimes. I mean got lucky. We played it all day to the end of the day. Could have gave up early, but chasing the eye pile outside, whose eyes are on, they wouldn't bite. We came back down, slid down the outside. I was like, yeah, we're trying to make a helmet run. Slide down the outside for went in. And you know it locked out, it paid off today. It doesn't always pay off, but today it paid off. The lure we caught it on. Strawberry scoop of resin eye. I don't ever make one resin eyes, but I guess I'll make a batch and put them on the website on Monday. So Monday on the website, you can find them just like this skirt, the same exact way, what we caught us on. But as always, we're going to do what we did last year. For every eye we catch on, whatever lure we catch on, we'll give one away for free. Uh, so right in the right on the video, what what's your favorite tuna recipe? What's your favorite eye recipe? The way you like to eat eye and you can win this lure. Random comment generator. If you want to see a clean video on how to clean an eye and a tuna skin video, I'll put it all in one. Let me know in the comments also. Uh, but let me know how what's your favorite way to eat eye and this lure can be yours. Next week we'll give away, next week on our fishing trip. From Nick Morris here and the boys and the crew, thanks for watching guys. As always, tight line, stay fishing, I'll see you on the water. If it's your first time here, give it a thumbs up. If your last time here, give it a thumbs up. Give the videos a thumbs up, please hit the subscribe button. Now we gotta go and watch the boat. It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs>